Here are the top five reasons people are moving to El Paso, Texas, and it starts right about now. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. If we haven't met yet, my name is Kenneth. I'm a local realtor here in El Paso, Texas. Now, there's one thing I'm gonna ask you before we get into the video, and don't worry, it's not money. Okay, you can put your credit card back in your pocket. All I'm gonna ask is if you find it helpful, if you find it valuable, um, that you like the video and you share it with a friend. This channel only grows organically, okay? We're trying to build a really strong community. And so if you could show the support, it really helps us out a ton. Um, you know, it takes a lot of time, energy, and resources to produce these videos. My editor hates me, AKA myself. And the last thing I wanna know is that when you support the channel by liking, sharing, subscribing, all those things, you're actually just helping yourself because that motivates me and gives me more tools and resources to put out better videos to help you be successful when buying or selling a house. Now, that's enough housekeeping. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Now, I saved the best for last, so make sure you stick around to the end because if not, it can cost you big time. But one of the major reasons why so many people across the US are coming to El Paso is because the low cost of living index score. Now, what is that? They take information from all 50 states and they give it an average score of 100. Meaning if I say your cost of living index of where you live right now is 100, you can know that that is pretty average around the US. Now, El Paso has a cost of living index score of 56, meaning it is almost 50% cheaper to live in El Paso than anywhere else in the US. Obviously financial motives are a huge factor when it comes to deciding where you're gonna move, but it goes a lot deeper than that and that is not the only reason why so many people are coming here. It's also because the overall quality of life. Now, when we talk about the quality of life index, right, remember I gave you that number, if it's 100, that's average, El Paso is at 177. And what brings it up so much is purchase power, safety, healthcare, climate, cost of living, um, property price to income ratio, traffic and commute, pollution. These are all things that this quality of life index is taking into consideration and giving El Paso a score of 177. So it goes a lot deeper than just the monetary benefit. There's a whole laundry list of other things that El Paso really brings to the table and why you should consider it if you're considering a move. So I wanna be respectful of your time and go through these things kind of quickly, but if you want more information on the cost of living and a detailed breakdown, go ahead and check out my video that I'm gonna link right here up above. And this way you can get a detailed idea of what it's like to actually live here and what are the costs that you can expect. Number three is the weather. If you like sunny, El Paso is a place for you and your honey, okay? We don't get a whole lot of rainfall and that's why we have a drier climate, okay? It's not humid, it's not like San Antonio or something like that. And on top of that, I want to let you know that in the winter, it's really not that bad. We're looking, we're lucky to see two to three days of snow out of the entire year. And in order to do that, we actually have to get the whole county together and we all have to do a rain dance in order to make it happen. That's how rare the snow is here. Okay. So if you like warmer weather uh, in the winter, it does get a little bit chilly, but like I said, it's not that bad. If you like the warmer weather, you like being able to be outdoors and the sun and do all kinds of activities, El Paso just might be the right place for you. Number four is taxes, and that affects you more than you think, okay? Texas is one of the few states that has a 0% state income tax, and I wanna give a side-by-side -side comparison to California, because I know that a lot of buyers are coming down from over there, and I wanna know, and I wanna let you know the reason why. Moving on, we have the side-by-side -side comparison here. The income state tax here in Texas is 0%. California is a 7.25%. Property tax here is at a 0.9%, and in California, it is an average of 0.7%, but depending on the area, it could be higher. Uh, sales tax is 8.25%, and in California, 7.25%. But, Ken, if property taxes are higher and sales tax is higher, why are people moving down here? Well, the truth is, is that it doesn't matter. And the reason being is because if you make $50,000 in California and $50,000 here in El Paso, you're gonna take home a lot more here in El Paso, okay? Not to mention, houses are a lot cheaper, right? I'll show you a $300,000 house here in El Paso, and then you show me what 300K gets you in California. You be the judge. On top of that, commuting, right? If you, if you work from home, then great, you probably don't care. Um, uh, as much as someone who does commute to work every day, gas prices here are usually about half of what they are in California. Another thing is the quality of life index overall when we factor in 
all these different categories, it has a higher score than California does. And there you have it. Now you know why so many people are coming down here. Number five, as promised, the best for last. It's one word, opportunity. Okay, one of the unique things about El Paso is that we don't care about your skin color, what language you speak, where you're from, or none of that, okay? The opportunity is the same for everybody. So let's talk about the two sides of this. So there's the income side of it. There is a ton of income uh, producing opportunities here in El Paso. There's a lot of jobs, a lot of places are hiring. There's a ton of new development and businesses opening up that are looking for more employees. If you wanna expand past just you know a typical job, there's so many immense career opportunities. It really doesn't matter what industry you're in. If you're willing to be the best at it, those are always gonna be the highest paid people in El Paso. And so when you have the mixture of a high income potential um, and a low cost of living, it's the perfect mixture for you to get off the ground and running. So keep that in mind, low cost of living, high income opportunity. And for the people that say there's not enough jobs, one, I truly think you're not looking hard enough, or two, you're not looking in the right spot. And if that's something that you're looking for, give me a call, give me a text, and we can talk about some of your options, okay? I'm here to help, and it's beyond real estate, right? Real estate is the median in which I serve you, right? But it expands to multiple different avenues that you could always be a part of. There it is, the top five reasons why so many people are moving to El Paso. Now, let me know down in the comments which one of these interested you the most. There's chapters in the description in case you need a quick refresher. And um, also feel free to drop down video suggestions in the comments below. I read all of them and I try to make videos around what you guys are requesting. I try to build that community and that interaction. So if you can show some love and support by paying the fee, like the video, share with a friend if you found it helpful and also drop any video suggestions you want down below. Here are two videos that I suggest you watch. This top one here, YouTube's algorithm is recommending it for you. And the bottom one is one I handpicked just for you. Talk to you soon.